Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. The NTSB publishes factual report on the Halliday Icon A5 crash. Pipistrel is keeping you busy while you shelter in place. And vandalism strikes Cape Cod airfield. I'm Sophie Herlock. The NTSB has filed the final report on the Icon A5 crash that took the life of baseball legend Roy Halliday. On November 7th of 2017, an Icon A5 sustained substantial damage when it was involved in an accident near Clearwater, Florida. The crash killed Halliday, a private pilot, and the CAP system was not deployed. Halliday had 14.5 hours of total flight experience in the Icon A5 and had been seen flying aggressively. He made an entry into his logbook indicating while en route from Peter O. Knight Airport in Tampa, Florida to his home. He flew under the Skyway Bridge which has just a 180-foot vertical clearance over the water. A few days after this, Halliday posted on his social media, I keep telling my dad flying the Icon A5 low over the water is like flying a fighter jet. Post-mortem examination of Halliday revealed he had a significant number of controlled substances in his system, including amphetamine and morphine. The NTSB did not mention the safety culture of the aircraft manufacturer's operations in their report. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Finally, a modern, affordable four-seater without compromise. Turbocharged Rotax 915 IS Power. 155 knot cruise, 800 nautical mile range, 1,000 feet per minute climb, and all that at 8 gallons per hour. Don't compromise. Check out the Sling TSI today at airplanefactory.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. It's time for today's trip around the patch. Kevin Misbach of Duncan Aviation was named the 2020 AAA Member of the Year, and Edmo Distributors was honored as the AAA Association Member of the Year. The winners were selected in a vote by the full AAA membership, and each of them will be honored during one of the AAA Connect conferences scheduled for later this year. The first Viking CL-415 EAF has been delivered to launch customer Bridger Aerospace Group of Bozeman, Montana. Bridger Aerospace became the launch customer for the Viking CL-415 EAF program after signing a multiple aircraft purchase agreement in May of 2018. The contract with all options exercise is valued at $204 million and covers the sale of six CL-415 EAF amphibious aerial firefighting aircraft. The Board of Directors of EAA Chapter 534 announced William McCarthy of Tavares, Florida is the winner of a $10,000 race scholarship from their Aviation Youth Program. McCarthy has been a member of the chapter's youth program for about five years and has been busy learning all he can about building and repairing aircraft in the chapter's hangar located at Leesburg International Airport. HangerBot's latest product, HangerBot 2.0, has been launched on Sporty's online pilot shop. HangerBot has quickly gained notoriety across the United States as the only next-generation solution-based smart hangar system. Hangar systems are remotely controlled via a mobile app and gives aviators the ability to monitor their hangar, as well as utilize a variety of additional devices that will optimize time and efficiency for any pilot. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Pipistrel is offering their online courses free of charge for a three-month period from now until the end of June, worldwide for anyone, pilot or not, interested in aviation. The free of charge online course will help to refresh and revise the theoretical knowledge required to fly and learn the specifics about modern Pipistrel aircraft series. These specially designed and developed courses cover training for the Alpha Trainer, the Virus SW, Virus SW-121, and the Alpha Electro, the only electric trainer in serial production in the world. Courses can be accessed from anywhere in the world with your laptop, tablet, or mobile phone. Two DC-3s owned by the Cape Cod Air Field have sustained thousands of dollars worth of damage due to vandalism. Cape Cod Airfield posted this statement onto their Facebook page last Saturday stating, 
In these difficult times, we at the airfield know that more people than usual are utilizing the trails in the conservation land. We welcome this, however, this increased foot traffic has started to bleed onto airfield property. Unfortunately, we made a horrible discovery recently. Both of the DC-3s on the airfield have sustained at least $15,000 worth of damages due to vandalism. These aircraft are antiques that were utilized by the Allied forces in World War II. These two DC-3s are extremely rare. One is the only Douglas sleeper transport left flying in the world, one of eight that we know of that still exists. The other was specifically built for the U.S. military as a C-53. Both DC-3 served the U.S. in World War II, then became commercial aircraft. Combined, these two pieces of history have flown over 130,000 hours. The airfield is offering a reward for anyone with any information that leads them to the person or people responsible for the vandalism. Your information will be kept confidential. And that wraps up this week, everyone. Don't forget to click subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. To stay up to date on the latest aviation aerospace news this weekend, head over to aero-news.net. Thanks for watching. I'll see you back here Monday.